Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Amanda of Inspiring Inkin. Welcome to my craft room. In today's video, we're going to be making this birthday card. It focuses on this tiny little bee. And the main purpose of this video is to show you how to get these beautiful translucent glittery wings on bees and dragonflies, butterflies, uh, fairies even. So that's my main focus, but I'm going to make the card first and then show you the, the hints and the tips of how to do that bumblebee. So let me just show you all the products that I'm going to be using. I've got Dragonfly Dreams, the bundle, so that's the stamp set and the dies. I'm also using Butterfly Basics. Now this is um, a set that's in the annual catalogue, it's been in for a while. Um, it's brilliant, but it's got some images that I want. So there's the hexagons that kind of look like honeycomb and the beautiful happy birthday and a flower image that I'm going to use. I've got some crushed curry cardstock, whisper white cardstock, basic black cardstock, matching ink pads, glitter, a half inch circle punch and some clear box. Okay, so I'm going to do the stamping first um, and get that all out of the way. So let me just sort out the cardstock. So I'm just going to use the little bumblebee and the basic black. And then I'm going to stamp over it. So this is brilliant because it's it's actually got the, the body here as well. Um, and then I'm just going to stamp over the top. And you just need to look over the top just to make sure that you're stamping it in the right place. So that's that's how so that's for the inside. And then for the front. I'm going to stamp the happy birthday. I love, look at this, love this font. Um, this is one of my favourite, favourite happy birthday stamps. Um, I love the, the swirly script, but also the block. And it's perfect size for a card. So I should be very sad when I can't use this anymore. Um, but hopefully it'll make it into the next catalogue. So, happy birthday there. Find the hexagons or the honeycomb. So uh, what I'm going to do, I've, I've just inked it at once. I'm just going to stamp it and re-stamp it just to give a bit of texture and definition. And then the little tiny flower. I'm just going to pop a couple of those on there like that. So a really quick card. Let me just get these bits stuck together and then we can get on with the wings. I picked an empty glue. I've got so many glues on my desk. There we go. So one whisper white layer on the basic black and then that. Here on the front, and that's going to go on the inside. <laughs> okay, so this is what you don't want to happen. Look, I've obviously got ink on my fingers. So I, through the magic video, I'm just going to re-stamp that. I'll just edit that bit. Well, I'll leave this bit in, but when, when you come back in a moment, there'll be another piece stuck on here that will be perfect. Okay, so um, here's a card. Magic of TV, I love that. Um, without a horrible mark all over it. And I've washed my hands as well. So, next up, the little bumblebees. Now, the dies, let me just get this one out. The die, it's a really intricate die. 
Um, you need to use a precision plate. I recommend that you use the die brush as well. because It's got lots of little um, holes here that um, the, the die brush will rub into those holes and pop it out really easily. And the precision plate will make a big difference. And this is the little, little chap that you will end up with. Now I've got a half inch circle punch and I'm going to punch a couple of those out because we need to make his, his body. Now we need just to trim one of them. So I'm just taking a little bit off the edges and that piece is going to sit just there and the circle's gonna go on first. So, the circle, the, the complete circle is gonna go at the, the base of his body, like that, and just line it up so it's just it just fits perfectly. And then put some more glue on and pop in this little piece that you've just cut down. So then, when we turn him over, he is, he's got his, his yellow stripes. Okay, so now to make, to make the glittery wings. So hopefully you can see here, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna show you a one on a dragonfly so you can actually see um, on, on camera. Let me just hold it up for you. You can probably see on camera better just because it's bigger. Um, so this is the largest dragonfly from this uh, set and the technique is absolutely the same to, to make this as we're going to do with the bumblebee, but I'll just leave that one there. So what you need is dazzling diamonds. Now if you have not had Stampin' Up's glitter, I don't know why, I, I don't understand. If you haven't got it, you need it. It is the sparkliest glitter I have ever used. It's really, really fine. Um, so it can do really detailed images. It's perfect for this. It just sparkles so much. Dazzling Diamonds is the perfect name for it. It's brilliant. Um, so get some. Don't just get one, get two or three, because once you start using it, you'll, you'll use it all the time. And, Sellotape. Apparently other brands are available. Personally, I really like Sellotape. And what you're gonna do is take a piece of Sellotape and stick it on the back of your wings. So I'm gonna do it so the camera can kind of pick this up um, from the top. And then I'm going to put one piece on there. Now, obviously, if you're doing something like the dragonfly and this, it's it's wider. I've actually got two strips here, um, so let's move it out of the way. And then all you're going to do is trim it. Now, just take your time when you're doing this um, because you want to get it really tight to the edge of the wings, and it only takes a minute. It's just a bit sticky. So let's just do that bit. Just trying to stick all the sticky bits together. Okay, so that's one. And then here's the second one. There. Okay. So you've trimmed it all off, and then all you're going to do is just put it into the glitter and just rub it and rub it really well in because where the die cut is you've actually got a hollow so you want to press down really hard firstly so that the glitter will will get into the crevices but also so it will stick tight onto the sellotape and then do the same with the other wing and then just give it all a flick off Leave that to one side. Okay, 
and I'm just gonna kind of put it on the back of my hand I'm hoping that the camera is going to be able to to pick it up but it makes such a, a beautiful difference on the cards um, it really does look like beautiful um, gossamer wings and now I'm just going to put my bumblebee just down there and there we go I hope you've enjoyed learning about how to make these lovely wings they're great for bumblebees, dragonflies, fairies, butterflies. Um, I would love to see the projects that you've made. So do drop me some pictures at my email address, which is amanda at inspiringinkin.com. You can also find me on Facebook and on my blog. So my blog is www.inspiringinkin.com. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.